Good morning. Here I am on the river again. When uh, I first tied the mini buggers, I described them as a strymph, which was a cross between a nymph that you could fish upstream and a streamer fish downstream. Now today I'm going to try Polish style with two mini buggers. Now, Polish short line fishing has taken a bit of a back seat uh, with Czech fishing. Um, but it's really important to understand the history of Polish short line nymphing. Uh, it all really started back at the World Championships in 1985 when Poland won the gold medal for the team. And there's quite a bit of rivalry between Poland and Czechoslovakia as fly fishing nations. They're both absolutely brilliant. And the Czechs went away having seen the short line nymphing, the style of fishing and the flies that they were using and adapted a method for themselves. The following year in 86 a Czech won the individual gold medal fishing the short nymph Czech style in, in Belgium. And over the next three or four years there was a sort of cross-pollination of Polish and Czech nymphing until it came to 1989 at the World Championships in Finland when a Polish angler called I'll try and get this right uh, Vladislav Cieszpunia uh, who I will call Vlad henceforth and I'm sure all the Polish viewers are laughing at my pronunciation but Vlad uh, achieved something quite remarkable he was uh, almost single-handedly bringing the gold medal to the Polish team and of course the individual to himself. What was remarkable was that the amount of fish that he caught was greater than the whole of the team and the runners-up. In fact Vlad's catch was greater than the second, third and fourth teams all combined. So he became a household name and you will know of Vlad's worm which was named after him, one of his flies, and in those times there were not as many materials available as there are now. And I'm led to believe that Vlad's worm, initially, when it was first tied, the latex used was from a condom. I don't know, that's what I understand. We'll have to find out. Now let's talk about the rig. Polish fishing, or short line nymphing, is with two flies. Uh, a heavier one on the point and a lighter one above. Now the initial Polish uh, nymphing, the fly above was on a sliding dropper um, between two uh, knots and that was about uh, 50 centimetres from the first knot so it had a run of about 50 centimetres and the dropper would sometimes be up to ooh, 12 inches which would be somewhere in the region of about uh, 20 centimetres. And the second part of the tippet would be about 60 centimetres, about two feet. Now, obviously in competition you can't have uh, a sliding dropper, so they had to adapt with a fixed uh, dropper. So that's what I'm going to try and do today. I'm going to do some short line nymphing Polish style with these heavy flies, these two strimps as they're called, and let's see what we can do. I'll just cast upstream here because this is where I'm going to be fishing and walking. And the interesting thing about Polish nymphing by Vlad's own admission is that it should be dragged through just a little bit faster than the current. Now because of the heavy nymphs you're inevitably going to catch the bottom from time to time. The theory of dragging it through was of the escaping something to eat. The fish seeing it go a little bit quicker and thinking that it was going to escape and indeed wanting to eat it. So I'll just keep going up here through this part where I'm going to be wading. See if there's anything lingering. 
Looks like the water has dropped just a little bit. The sun hasn't quite come up over the mountain yet, but I have no doubt it will do soon. And we're in for another warm day. The expression short line nymphing came from, of course, there only being fly lines available in that era. There were no parallel lines or nymphing lines, so it was just a standard fly line and it was fish short, hence the short line nymphing. Now we have uh, slightly different materials and methods. shallow water where it was observed to be quite heavy with fish they would quite often reverse the weighted nymphs so that the heavier one was on the dropper and the lighter one on the point. Just keep hugging away. And of course, Polish nymphing doesn't have to be done with any buggers. As long as you have some fairly heavy nymphs, because you want to get them down as quickly as possible, because you're only fishing a short distance. There we go, there's the first fish. Not a big one, by any stretch of the imagination. That is the first one. And that's taken the white mini bugger. And I can get it out. Certainly wanted that. There we go. And off you go. I assume you can see that I am actually dragging it through a little bit faster than the current. Dad apparently said that he learnt this technique when he was a, a youngster fishing with his father. And uh, the thing about pulling it through was likened to the escaping food. It's the bottom again. As I said, it's going to happen because of the weight of the flyers. the second fish. I'm going into the white point fly. Hook out, fish away. Thing I think can also be quite a bit of fun. Uh, you have a lot of false bites because of it being so close to the bottom. Which uh, helps the heart palpitations. Oh, 
Oh, the sun's come up over the mountain. Yeah, look at that, one on the drop. And this time to the black mini bugger. on the drop then. Which I of course missed. Slightly better fish. I can see why that was a slightly better fish. it was hooked in the side so not a slightly better fish just a different type of fight altogether so let's have another go Missing them on the drop. Didn't miss that one on the drop. Come on, out of there.
my friend. And that took the black bugger. And indeed, a little bit bigger than the average. Okay, okay. Let's get this out and you'll be away. Oh, it's come out in the net. So there you go. Off you go. Hmm, somehow, looks like I've lost the, uh, the white bugger off the point. I can't see it in the net. So, took out another one. Oh, two hits on the drop there. Of course, you could argue if it had been a smaller nymph, it may have hooked up, but at the end of the day, it may not have attracted that sort of attack. fish because it's taken the dropper. And I've tied on our uh, dropper, on our uh, like mini bugger. Let's hope uh, we don't have the same thing happen again. Right, I'm fishing uh, 6x, uh, which is about 12.12 12 millimeters, and uh, I'm surprised that that broke off like that. And it was at the fly, not at the knot. I don't think this honey hole is finished yet. Oh. If we can find another one. There. That was taken on the pull back using it like a streamer. lift as it was coming back. As I said, I thought there might be another one in here. So let's have another look.
not wrong. Not wrong at all. Come on, my friend, out there. Over here. And that's the black one again. This uh, Polish style nymph thing upstream, short line, can be quite devastating. You can see I'm not fishing uh, a very long line at all here. Probably uh, about 15 feet, maybe 4 or 5 meters. More. Oh my gosh, that was an attack and a half. Whew, good idea. And I think the honey hole is just about finished. But we've had some. Uh, fish, fishing Polish style, short line, or in this case short leader, uh, with two heavy nymphs, just casting upstream, then it comes through, almost dragging it through, and catching a few fish. I'm just going to walk it back downstream, see if there's anything interested. Oh, my friend. Can't see you in the sun. No, I can't. Well, it was worth walking it back through. Just uh, deal with this a little fishy. And he took the white knee bugger. Come out in the net, and off you go, my friend. Well, I suppose that's a lesson in itself. Although you've walked through this particular part of the river, what well, I have, uh, I've carried on fishing the Polish style back down and had a fish. Still just slowly going back downstream, or fishing upstream, if you get my drift. I love a better expression. Well, I've now walked back through that little swim that I've been fishing, Polish style. And I hope that you've enjoyed a little bit of fishing. And fishing in a style that's probably a little bit different to most anglers. 
but uh, I am a keen advocate of Polish style nymphing and I hope that sometime in the future you'll get the opportunity to fish in that style as well. Thanks very much for viewing and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!